top of the morning to you. Hey, look, I'm going to do something that I usually don't do. See, I'm a, I'm a non-commercial kind of guy, you know what I'm saying? I don't do commercial. But this one's going to be more like my commercials, right? Okay. So as you may or may not know, right, I'm on a, right now I'm on a train to New York. Just came from, well, came from St. Louis, then to Chicago, made a Chicago connection, and going out to New York, and then after New York, I go to Virginia, then I go back to New York, then I go to Africa, you know, back where I live. Okay. Now, in a little village, by the way, you know, so we don't have a whole lot of commercials happening in our little village. Okay. Well, the village is called, my area is called Limbete. It's, it's a part of the uh, Salamanzi uh, uh, township uh, out of Alice, or as the uh, Tacnas people for that area would call the, the, the place, uh, the Kenny, that's in the, that's in closer uh, trans, uh, well, also a stronghold in the Eastern Cape. Anyway, uh, so look, it's early morning, it's like, you know, a little bit after eight, you know, riding, riding the train, like that, see, see the train up there. Hey, see, so riding the train. It used to be in America, I'm sorry, this is where we're going through Pennsylvania right now, just left Erie, Pennsylvania. So we're going through Pennsylvania. Now, you know, when they, they, they tell me, I don't know, could be right, could be wrong, that um, in the early days, you know, uh, like the breakfast, breakfast was really like hops, like drinks, you know? So I got this little thing here, which is called, it's from, uh, it's from uh, his home brewed, the brewed in Chicago, it's called uh, Le Gros Stout. I, I like dark beers anyway, but but back then the stouts and stuff like that, they were, they, that was your nutrition, that was your breakfast. So I'm having breakfast, and hey, don't judge, hey, hey, okay. It's, it's, it's like it's different, you gotta, it's an acquired taste, let's put it that way. But I got it because it was, you know, I'm going through Chicago, I want, like when I travel, I try to, to deal with the fares of the fares, the affair, the fares and affairs of the areas that I'm going through. Anyway, but what I did, uh, I went to I went to Google, I went to see uh, Ford vs Ferrari. It was all right, but uh, you know, it was all right. It was Hollywood movie, and I liked it and all this and stuff. But when I got out, I went to uh, Whole Foods there because I know I was getting on the train and I want to buy some stuff. Then the, the my favorite shop, I guess, in the States right now is Trader Joe's, but you know, don't worry about it. My point is that for every place you go, there's something good, something, you know, indifferent, something whatever. So you shouldn't discount something. You should take the positive things from whatever you, you're going through, right? Okay. So Whole Foods, I got a sandwich, right? It was a turkey, provolone cheese, and they made it for me. So they had what? Um, they put some pesto, some basil pesto on it. I, I asked, I, you know, I'm an avocado addict, so I got, you know, some avocado on it like that. And, uh, and, and going out of the store, you know, I'm not really a chips guy, you know, like chips, but I got these chips only because, first of all, I like blue corn. It's just blue corn chips, by some sort of Jackson, what's it called? Jackson Honest. Hey, I like when they, you know, the branding these days is kind of interesting. I really like the branding these days. Anyway, it's uh, blue corn, blue corn chips, right? And it's, um, and it says slow cook with coconut oil. So that got my idea. It got my, 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 you know, it got my attention. So I went and bought it, right? And I started to eat it. Let me tell you. See, I'm addicted to sun chips, right? But I've just, I've just got over my addiction to sun chips. And I now do blue corn chips with the slow cooked whatever coconut oil. This stuff is amazing. I um, just the right amount of salt. You know, just the right amount of salt. It, it feels nutritious when you get it. says blue, black, or blue. I'm into anyway. But this chip is so good. I'm now addicted to this. And I tell you something, Mrs. Smith back in the day, she told me that back in the day, when people were like addicted to something like heroin or or, or uh, what was morphine, whatever they was addicted to, they were cured by being by becoming alcoholics. Hey, go figure. Anyway, so now I'm going. I, I, I always have my avocado addiction, but from avocado addiction, well, that's that's separate, right? But from addicted to sun chips to now addicted to Jackson. Honest blue corn chips. Mm. Mm. I love it. Just the right now, tiny bit of salt, but there's something else happening there. It's so good.
So don't worry. I think that's much better than that. Hey, hey, Jackson people, or um, Lagru, or the hell is it? Oh, Lagru Organic Beer Company out of Chicago. If you want to support me for this little commercial on your thing, even though I don't have a lot of subscribers because I don't want a lot of subscribers, then just down below, you know where it says that my Bitcoin, um, whatever, my Bitcoin wallet, you no, know, throw a little Bitcoin in there, okay? And all you, oh, by the way, I never do this anyway, but, you know, I don't, my, my channel is not monetized, and I do creative comments, which means that you just, you can do what, you can take any of these things and do what you will, but you just have to give me credit, right? But if you really do want to do some Bitcoin, just put it in there. It's an experiment. I never even check it, but just do that. Okay, so that's it. Well, just, just on the train here, just, that would be me. T from the Patterson, taking the train to Tibet. Let you know what I always suspect from a commercial point of view.